nearly 9 p.m. We were meant to have started this case half an hour ago, and we're still waiting because this theater's going over. Alrighty, not every day that I get a drop off of food from my parents, but today is the 12th of April and it's about 10.30 at night. I am on call, but this is the beginning of Ramadan. That's why my mum's dropped off a piece so that I have some food to eat uh, to break fast tomorrow. Uh, it's a bit late to have dinner, I kind of already had dinner, I've never really been very good at waking up early and scoffing down a lot of food, so this will be it. I'm gonna wake up and have a bit of coffee, a bit of water, and start fasting. So today is the first morning of Ramadan. It's it's about five in the morning. I've got about eight minutes left before I have to start fasting. I'm gonna scull this down, have a bit more water, pray, go back to sleep, just because I've been on call last night and I never sleep well. So should have something a bit more coherent to say in a few hours time when I'm up. After waking up too late, it was off to work. Because it was the first day of Ramadan, I didn't actually remember to take many videos. So here's some B-roll of what work looks like. This was just as I was heading home, about to go home and break fast. Uh, took a few time lapses, but next thing I knew, it was time for day two. Good morning, it's the second day of Ramadan, and I'm about to go get myself a coffee. At my usual 7-Eleven like every other year. Howdy and welcome back. It's day two of Ramadan already. As you can see, it's pretty light outside, so fasting has well and truly begun. It's just past seven in the morning, and here we are. Day one was a bit rough for me because I was on call the night before and a bit tired after I got home, so I ended up sleeping a significant portion of it after breaking fast. But uh, now well rested and hopefully it's a better start. A quick summary of what this project is about. It's something that's been in the back of my head for uh, quite a while now. And uh, thankfully I got started on it a couple of years ago. So the basic idea was that, you know, Ramadan is a special time of year for Muslims. And I thought I would take this time to take a chance and explain what it was all about. Uh, what it means, how it affects someone like me working in Australia, and also use it to raise awareness for those less fortunate and in the community. The people that I decided to help a few years ago and I'm going to be doing again this year is those uh, without a home. So the homelessness population is a pretty big problem all around the world, but also in Melbourne City. And especially because we're coming into winter, it gets very cold. So without food and without adequate shelter, it can only be a very difficult time. Hence, I'm using these mini vlog things to hopefully raise awareness about what Ramadan is, about the homelessness problem, and uh, hopefully raise some money and do some good. Yeah. I'll explain a bit more about the project as time goes on. Unlike every other year, I will not try and do this every day just because I felt some of those videos in the previous years were a bit rushed and also just not that interesting. So this year, oh, hello. One of my cats has jumped on and might be in the frame at the moment. The cats will be featuring much more prominently this year in the videos. Anyway, uh, since Luna wants to be patted, I'm going to sign off for now and I'll catch you in the next one. It's day three of Ramadan and I had the morning off, which was nice. So after getting up for Suhoor and praying, I had a bit of a nap and now I am hanging out with the kitty cats. There's one of them, just getting his food, and the other one is right there. We've had the morning off, now it's time to go to work. Hooray! So day three was a bit weird in terms of my schedule. I had the morning off, 
but then I had to work in the afternoon and then into the evening. So the afternoon finished relatively early. Not really sure what to do at the moment. Normally, I come home well and truly after start time and I'm dying to break fast, but this is one of those times where everything's finished early. So I'm gonna hang with the cats and go take some photos. I was so busy taking time lapses that I forgot that it's actually time to eat. It's time for a start. There's me date set. There we go. All right, happy iftar. I was literally eating uh, iftar when I got called in. So I have to uh, quickly finish praying and get out there. I actually had to go to two different hospitals. So finished with one and then headed off to the next one. So nearly 9 p.m. We meant to have started this case half an hour ago and we're still waiting because this theater is going over at this rate i'll get home and have to wake up in a few hours for support oh that's the life we didn't get started until about 11 o'clock at night so by the time i got home it was very late well it'll make for an interesting day tomorrow As always, please consider donating for the homeless and remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz. Bye now.